Good morning. I'm Council Member Matthew Eugene, Chair of the Committee on Youth Services. This morning we will vote on two bills that will improve services for runaway and homeless youth. Proposed in 1619A, sponsored by Council Member Johnson, will require DYCD to report the number of youth who are not able to access bed and the runaway and homeless youth shelter services. This bill will better enable the, this, the city of New York to understand the size of this population and what additional services are needed to ensure that all youth who need a bed are able to access one. And uh, we are also voting on proposed intro 1705A, sponsored by Council Member Salamanca, which requires DYCD and DHS to develop a system to allow youth who have reached the age of time limits in RHRY shelters to directly enter a DHS shelter and bypass the DHS intake and assessment facilities. I want to thank uh, the sponsors of this bill, Council Member Salamenka and Council Member Johnson for their work, and I urge my colleagues to vote yes. But before the vote, I want to take the opportunity to thank also the members of the Youth Services Committee for their work to make this uh, hearing possible, this vote possible. Andrea Vasquez, the Acting Council, Jessica Ackerman, Finance, and Michael Benjamin, Policy Analyst. And I want also to mention that we have been joined also by Council Member Chin, Greenfield, Combo, and Council Member Woz, Council Member Levin, and Council Member Johnson, Gawotney. And uh, at this time, I want to call one of the sponsors, Council Member Johnson, who is going to give some remarks. Council Member Johnson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, there are a few crises more heartbreaking than that of youth homelessness. Every night, large numbers of young people sleep on our streets and subways, many of whom were forced out of their homes due to abuse and familial rejection. It is inconceivable that this could be allowed in New York City. These young people are among the most vulnerable members of our society, and we have a special responsibility to take care for them, to keep them safe, and to let them know that they are valued and loved. Our city has allocated significant resources to this issue in recent years, expanding the number of youth shelter beds available to this population. But we must do more. In September, my colleagues and I introduced a package of legislation that would dramatically increase the availability of youth shelter in New York City. Introduction 1619 will require the Department of Youth and Community Development to provide a quarterly count of runaway homeless youth who have been turned away from DYCD RHY shelter. This information is crucial if we are truly going to be able to address this problem. I'd like to thank you, uh, Chair Eugene, for your support in this package of bills, and I would encourage my colleagues to vote yes on Introduction 1619. I'd like to also say, you know, this time of year is actually really, really difficult and heartbreaking for runaway homeless youth, the holidays, when they're away from their families. Uh, it's a particularly difficult, traumatic time of year, so I'm glad we're passing this piece of legislation uh, just before uh, the holiday season. It's really important for the youth of New York City. I ask my colleagues to vote aye. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Council Member Johnson. I want to thank you and commend you for this very important bill that addressed the, uh, the need and the issues of the uh, young people who are homeless in New York City. This is a very important uh, portion of our community, and we have, as you said, we have to do more, and they deserve more than what they receive. And I want also to mention that we have with us Council Member Combo, and Council Member Chin. Thank you very much. Now I would like to ask the clerk to call the vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on your services. Items are coupled. Chair Eugene. I vote aye. Chin. I vote aye and please add my name to the vote legislation. Thank you. Greenfield. I vote aye and ask that my name be added to the legislation as well. Combo. Congratulations, Councilmember Corey Johnson. I vote aye. 
And I also request my name to be added to the legislation. Thank you. We have a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the, by the committee. Thank you very much, and the meeting is adjourned. Probably one of the uh, eight gigs, right? Gotta do the recording. Then we'll, we'll leapfrogging with civil rights, right? This is a microphone check. Today's date is December 18th, 2017. Committee on Education. Being recorded by Sakim Bradley.